Sandbox NFT game continues to partner with massive IPs and brands, bringing them into their gaming ecosystem. Today, I'm going to break down some of my top asset NFTs that you can be getting inside this game and some upcoming ones you don't want to miss out on. Are you ready? Well, hey there, crypto friends. Thanks again for joining me. So today we're talking all about the sandbox and some of the most valuable NFT assets that you could be picking up for the long term. Now, when I say assets, I don't mean the land of the actual game, so everything outside of land. So these are the NFTs that you would use when uh, you're creating a game or for long-term holds for speculation. And uh, this is a lesser known and traded type of, of asset on the sandbox because right now the land is always in hot, a hot commodity, but the actual NFT assets that you can get uh, in a lot of different ways I think are actually going to be very valuable over the long term and I'm going to tell you why in this video and break down some of my top favorite assets that I think are going to be long term holds for the sandbox. But before we get into all of that, if you love gaming NFTs and earning money in crypto, then make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and smash that like button if you want to continue maximizing your gaming and NFT projects with me. Okay, so let's jump into some of these top assets. These are NFTs on the platform that uh, people would be using inside of their games or trading on marketplaces like OpenSea. Okay, so here we are at the Sandbox website. And uh, as you can see, they have a lot of really cool things coming up. They partner with a ton of different brands. So people like The Walking Dead, South China Morning Post, Avenged Sevenfold, Dead Mouse, Smurfs, Hell's Kitchen, the TV show. Uh, Care Bears, Atari, all kinds of different brands are coming into this and there are specific partner NFTs that all revolve around this. So when they do these land sales, they do what are called premium lands and the premium lands always come with themed NFTs that are around the, the focused land sale that they have coming up. So when you look at some of these uh, NFTs, uh, right now, they're uh, one of the biggest ones that is about to drop here and you don't want to miss, they're doing a four week sale on this, is The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead is invading the sandbox. I did a video all breaking this down, but essentially they're going to have a bunch of different NFTs uh, that are going to accompany the different lands that are going to surround The Walking Dead's lands inside of the sandbox. So The Walking Dead team is going to be creating game experiences or, or you know social experiences within the sandbox on their lands, and you can actually have land around those lands. And so on these premium uh, land sales, you, you get the land plus you get some bonus NFTs, right? So they don't talk too much about that here on this page, but they went into detail here uh, for the sale. And so there are going to be a total of 3,700 lands. 500 of those lands are going to be premium. So they'll be, uh, they're not all going to be premium lands. And these are the ones usually that are closest to the main plot, right? So you can see here's wave one, and then there's wave two, and uh, then there's, you know, three, four, uh, three and four. So there's going to be th uh, multiple different waves here, and they're going to be doing it in a little bit of a different style. So uh, every Thursday, starting at 1 p.m. UTC, I wish they'd vary up the time a little bit. That's 6 a.m. my time, guys. Come on. Sebastian, where you at, man? Give us a better time for Pacific time zone people and people around the world. If you're doing four different drops, I really wish you'd do it at different times so you could get a premium uh, drop time for everybody. So each of these premium lands will uh, include a bundle of five exclusive NFTs. And so they're going to have NFTs like Glenn and Rick and Negan that you can get. These, I think, are going to be highly sought after NFTs in the long run, especially for those people who love what this beloved IP, this beloved brand. Uh, so you look at the kind of the, there's a bunch breaking it down. So wave one is kind of going to be around what they call the prison. Wave two is going to be around what they call the Commonwealth. Wave three around Alexandria. And then wave four is going to be a little bit of a different uh, breakdown. And they're going to put some more information out about that. But when it comes to these NFTs, the extra ones that you get with the premium lands, in particular, these special NFTs that you get with that you can only get through buying land and they're very limited, they tend to sell for a good amount on the open markets. And so these NFTs in particular for The Walking Dead, I think are going to hold some good long-term value 
This is one of the biggest IPs that they have brought in so far. Uh, they've done a bunch, you know, they've done quite a few. And, uh, but I would say out of all the ones that they have, they have brought in, this is one of the biggest ones. It has one of the biggest fan bases and uh, in one of the great, you know, one of the nicest styles. But if we go over to OpenSea and we go look at uh, the OpenSea market here, you know, we can actually see what the, what the, the, the actual results are. So you look at something like this, there are only 651 NFT assets on sale for the sandbox. That's outside of land. There's lots and lots of land for sale. So if you talk about land, there's 996,000 uh, different items for sale. Only 651 of those are actual NFT assets. That makes these NFT assets way rarer than the actual counterparts for the land. As much as land is sought after, these NFT assets, I think, could actually have some good long-term value because they're going to be very rare. People are not going to be able to get them. And, uh, you know, not only them being traded as a highly sought after, you know, old school commodity, something that has history, that has value to it, like we've seen with a lot of different NFT projects on Ethereum, but things that are just simply rare, like you can't get them. So you can see some of these top assets that have uh, come from some of these special premium drops are going for a lot of money. Some of the recent uh, sales here, 10,000 sand for the Zepetto uh, to Ethereum, for the large carnivorous plant, which amazingly enough, someone is selling it for la less than what it was uh, uh, sold for last. But then you see things like this collaboration drop with Cyber Kongs was, is, is going for almost one Ethereum. Uh, same thing with some of these other ones, like these the, these uh, uh, dragons. These uh, they, they did the, uh, this was some of the most early drops that they did was with these uh, you know premium lands was with these dragons. So some of the very first premium land drops are going for the biggest amount here. I mean you know half an ETH, 0.4 ETH, 0.3 ETH. Uh, then things like Satoshi Tribute, you can see a lot of the dragons here. Uh, Papa Smurf here, they did a, a big drop with Papa Smurf. Uh, with the smurfs and so a lot of these assets here i think are going to hold long-term value in particular some of the ones that were you know dropped in premium lands and then the collaboration drops there's been some really good collaboration drops that we've seen now this is in contrast to uh some of the creator drops of uh, things that we see just on the generic sandbox store so if we go to the actual market here and we can look and see some of these these nfts for sale you know they're they're, they're still able to be able to buy these and uh here on the actual marketplace uh which you can find here but in general the the creator created uh nft drops don't hold value i think as long as much because they don't have as high a value so you can see some of the ones like care bears these were all sold out you know atari stuff these were some of the early drops these you got you could only get these with the premium lands and so you can see all these have been sold out they have very low supply uh they did ones with binance as well you guys know binance is huge and they're going to have massive lands in the sandbox and there's going to be uh some really cool things i think coming to their lands maybe a sand atm maybe you can actually just get sand and you know from an atm in the game and it directly converts it uh through your binance account i mean there's so many cool things avenge sevenfold has done things and you can see those Zepetto ones, you know, they, there was a very uh, small amount of those put out. And you can see they're very expensive and they've gone for high dollars. So, uh, uh, you know, Dead Mouse has done stuff. And, uh, you know, we've seen quite a few other things here. So, uh, you know, F1 Delta Time. So I think a lot of these, these uh, you know, special featured NFTs are actually going to hold a lot of value over time uh, when it comes to the other NFTs on the platform that are not land assets. So I definitely encourage you guys to look at the Walking Dead sale that's coming up uh, here uh, pretty soon. If, if you're watching this video a little bit later, they're having multiple sales, so don't give up. You could be getting some of these really highly sought after uh, premium lands. So you're going to get the land, and we know land is going to go up in value. We know that. But I think the NFTs for some of these really cool ones, in particular the Walking Dead, are going to increase in value over time. And as the games start to launch their, their actual games once the sandbox is launched. So hopefully you guys like that breakdown of some of my top NFT assets in the sandbox. Do not miss that Walking Dead sale. I'm going to be in there getting those premium lands. You're going to have to fight against Stash for getting yourself some premium lands that have Negan or Rick or Glenn or some of your other favorite characters and items uh, bundled with those lands. Let me know what you guys think about the sandbox. Are you still bullish? Are you still holding sand? Are you investing in the land? What are you guys doing in the sandbox? I want to hear in the comments below. That's all we have for today, folks. Until next time, stash that crypto, friends.